Doing. What has Dot got? Guess now. And she'll appear on the spot. Hello, Dot. One mouse. Where are the others, Dot? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two. One, two. That's me and you. Three, four. A knock on the door. Five, six. Know any tricks? Seven, eight, stop and wait. Nine, ten, I'll say when. When? Hip, hop, flip and flop. Is Dot on the spot? Ready, steady. Off and go, come and count, come and count, come and count with Dot. Some number dots. One, two, can you get the three dot? Three, four, Five, a long way to six dot, that's it. Where's seven? Eight, nine, ten. Now to the spot dot, that's it. Hip, hop, flip and flop, is dot on the spot? Ready, steady, off and go. Come and count, come and count.
the shoe shop. Aren't you going to try them on, Dot? Ah, so the boots are for the girl in the story today. The story of Big Sarah's Little Boots. Sarah loved her boots. They were as shiny as a wet raincoat and as yellow as a bathtub duck. When Sarah jumped into puddles, her boots went squish and the water went crash plat. One day, Sarah tried to put on her boots. She pulled them and she tugged them. She scrunched her toes into tight little balls. She pushed her heels in with all her might. But Sarah's boots did not fit Sarah's feet. She took off her socks. But even bare, Sarah's feet did not fit into Sarah's boots. Oh no, Sarah cried. My boots have shrunk. Sarah tried to make her boots bigger. She stretched the bottoms and she stretched the tops. She stretched until she could stretch no more. But nothing happened. Then she called her little brother Matthew. They tied one end of the boots to Matthew's horse and the other end to Sarah's trike. They pulled until the ropes were tight. But nothing happened. Sarah gave the boots to the dog. He growled and tugged and she growled and tugged. But nothing happened. Sarah tried to blow them up like a balloon. She took one big breath and puffed her cheeks and blew. But nothing happened. She filled her boots with a truckload of stones. The boots got heavier, but they didn't get bigger. Sarah planted her boots in the garden, where the sun was warm and bright. She watered them and she waited. But the boots did not grow. Sarah was very sad. Her boots did not fit her feet. Her feet did not fit her boots. Sarah loved her boots. Mum, said Sarah, my boots have shrunk. I wonder, said Sarah's mother, maybe you grew. No, said Sarah, my boots have shrunk. Well, let's see, said Sarah's mother. Sarah was measured. Your boots didn't shrink. You grew all over, said Sarah's mother. You need new boots. I don't want new boots, said Sarah. Sarah and her mother went to the shop anyway. There were lots of boots. Rainbow boots, red boots, purple boots, checked boots, buckled boots and zippered boots. The salesman showed Sarah yellow boots with a fire engine red stripe around the toes and a fire engine red stripe around the tops. These are lovely, said the salesman. I don't want new boots, said Sarah. 
they bought the shiny yellow boots with the fire engine red stripe. The next time it rained, Sarah put on her new boots. They weren't as shiny or as yellow as her old boots. And when Sarah jumped into puddles, the water went splash. But that was all. After a while, Sarah's mother asked if Matthew could wear the old boots. Matthew looked so excited that Sarah said, All right. When Matthew put on the old boots, he said, These are so shiny. They're as yellow as my bathtub duck. When Matthew jumped into a puddle, the boots went squish and the water went splat. I hope they don't shrink, said Matthew. <laughs> don't be silly, said Sarah. Boots don't shrink, feet grow. Matthew and Sarah went splashing in the puddles. Suddenly, it didn't matter that Sarah's new boots went splash and the old boots went squish. Sarah had grown so big that she could jump over the puddles. And when Sarah jumped, the yellow boots with the red stripes went whoosh. It was a big sound for a big girl and Sarah was very happy. Hear it for feet Give a big cheer to your plates of meat They'll carry you where you want to go They'll run when you're fast And they'll walk when you're slow Without them no leg is complete So let's have a big hand for feet Your fingers let you count to ten And you may think that's plenty But with your shoes and socks off You could count right up to twenty Stand up, let's hear it for feet Give a big cheer to your plates of meat They'll carry you where you want to go They'll run when you're fast and they'll walk when you're slow Without them no leg is complete So let's have a big hand for feet Put your best foot forward and you can toe the line don't be a heel and you will feel soul music can be fine. If you just stand up, let's hear it for feet. Give a big cheer to your plates of meat. They'll carry you where you want to go. They'll run when you're fast and they'll walk when you're slow. Without them, no leg is complete. So let's have a big hand for feet. Don't drive yourself into despair. Take your car and park it. Without your feet, remember, piggies cannot go to market. Won't you then stand up? Let's hear it for feet. Give a big cheer to your plates of meat. They'll carry you where you want to go. They'll run when you're fast and they'll walk when you're slow. Without them, no leg is complete. So let's have a big hand, let's have a big hand. 
let's have a big hand for feet. Hey Dot, what time does your clock say? Five o'clock. Time for a game. What have you got, Dot? Lots of footprints. And lots of shoes. Ah, oh, so we have to match the shoe to the print dot. Right. So the walking boot goes there. A welly dot. That'll keep your feet dry. Can we have a go? Can we have the blue shoe? Now, where does that go? Next to the welly dot. No? That's it. Now your turn, dot. That's for a tiny foot. <laughs> well, that was easy to find, Dot. Our turn. How many left, Dot? Three. Can we have the one in the middle, the black shoe? Where does that go? In front of the welly, Dot? No, that's too big. Right. Your turn. It's a sandal. Lots of lines on the shoe. Lines on the print. That's a dotty one. <laughs> And a dotty print. It's a football boot. <laughs> There's one missing dot. Oh, it's your shoe dot. <laughs> There's the bus dot. Time to go. Bye bye dot. See you next time. <laughs>